Welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you the full summary for chapter 1118 of One Piece. And yes, it's true. Bonnie is going full gear 5 in this chapter. She has the white clouds, the smoke, and even the rubbery transformation to become a giant, just like Luffy. We've got two gear 5s, both in giant form, going against Mars. There's been foreshadowing for this, suggesting Bonnie was supposed to go gear 5 this whole arc. The chapter starts where the last one ended, with the ancient giant robot sinking into the sea after Mercury's attack. It thinks about Joy Boy while sinking, saying, Where are you, Joy Boy? I thought you were here just a moment ago. It seems the robot still thinks it's in the void century, possibly confused about the current timeline, which might explain its attack on Mary Joy's 200 years ago. Despite being knocked out, Vegapunk's message continues. We hear more of his voice from the special Den Den Mushi. The name is referring, presumably, to Joy Boy. We then see reactions around the world to the interruption of Vegapunk's message. In Alabasta, Kusa and Toto, along with other citizens, discuss the message, speculating if someone Vegapunk mentioned was a erased by the world government. They recall that Vegapunk was held hostage by Straw Hat Luffy, suggesting the pirates are responsible. In Whiskey Peak, Mr. Nine, Miss Monday, and their son discuss how they can't imagine the world government killing the world's number one genius, Vegapunk, despite any sins he might have committed. In Dress Rosa, Rebecca and Leo talk about Luffy, with Leo saying, so it is Luffy land after all, and Rebecca responding, of course not. Back on Egghead Island, York informs the Gorosei that two Vegapunks remain, Lilith and Atlas. York also mentions that punk records will continue to grow even after Stella's death. It's unclear what happened to Edison, who was alive in chapter 1116. Did Edison die, or is York just unaware? The Gorosei decide their top priority is to eliminate the remaining Vegapunks, except for York. Meanwhile, Luffy, Dory, and Broji reach the shore and jump onto the Elbaf ship, joining Bonnie, Sanji, and Frankie. The Marines acknowledge the Giants are tough, but can't let them escape after bringing so many battleships from Marine HQ. Bonnie turns Vice Admiral's Bluegrass and Dahl, and even the Sea Beast weapons Bluegrass was riding, into little girls, allowing the Elbaf ship to set sail. Luffy greets Oimo and Kashi, who are almost knocked out by Dahl's attack. Sanji contacts Nami to inform her they have successfully set sail, and Nami says they are about to take off too. There is no news about Zoro, Jinbei, or Usopp in this chapter. While Luffy is in the kitchen eating everything he finds, Mars flies to the Elbaf ship and shoots a beam from his mouth. Three giants use their shields to block Mars's attack, but part of the Elbaf ship catches fire. Suddenly, Luffy activates Gear 5 again and jumps off the ship to fight. Luffy's power makes the sea and ships shake. He talks to Bonnie, saying, Let's go together. You want to punch these guys, right? Bonnie replies that it's impossible, but Luffy encourages her, saying he doesn't understand her power but knows she can do it. Bonnie remembers her first meeting with Luffy on Egghead and how he told her he looks like Nika when he is free. She then recalls Kuma's promise at Ginny's grave to raise her. Using the Toshi Toshi no Mi, she transforms into Nika. Bonnie says, Distorted future, the future where I am the most free, and Luffy congratulates her. In the epic final double page, we see a giant Bonnie and Nika form, striking the same pose as Luffy on the cover of One Piece Volume 106, alongside a giant Luffy in Gear 5. Luffy laughs like the first time he used Gear 5 in Onigashima. Bonnie's transformation is identical to Luffy's, with white clouds, curly hair, white clothes except for her sash, and eyes with ring-like pupils. The marines and giants are astonished, seeing two Nika forms. Mercury and Jupiter sense a strange presence and rush toward the Elbaf ship. In the final panel, we see the ancient robot activating again underwater, saying, he's here, end of chapter. Bonnie becoming Nika Gear 5 is significant. Apparently, Saturn augmented her devil fruit, allowing her to transform into any future, but only if she can imagine it. Her ability, distorted future, now lets her achieve full Nika powers, manipulating time, space, and reality to some extent. It's a drastic change from just aging up and down. This power was foreshadowed throughout the arc, with Bonnie expressing a desire for a Nika-like future, and Luffy encouraging her freedom. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you like Bonnie's transformation? If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.